Hello there, readers, followers, friends. I am doing my In My Mood Box video for this week. Um, so I started out with a really slow week with, I believe, one or two books through Monday through Friday. And then I get home from running four hours worth of errands and I had three books and I had made a trip to Goodwill um, where they had dollar books, every one of them. So I only walked out with three. So I thought that was a good deal. So let me share what I got in my mailbox this week. So first for review, I have One Flight Up. Um, I signed up for a book tour for this, so I'm excited to read it. It looks really good. It's got a bunch of shoes and things on the floor. It looks really cute. So I'm excited about this one. And then another one I signed up for a tour is A Summer in Europe by Marilyn Brandt. And this is about a woman who receives a gift about a tour of Europe and um it sounds really good and I love like the orange of the cover and it's just it's just really pretty so when I um heard about it it was at a uh, crazy book tours I believe it sounded so good I had to sign up immediately immediately so I believe this is in December either December or January so um won't be up for a little bit but um but it should be coming so I'm excited about that and then for my Goodwill trip. So only three because they were a dollar each and we know how big my shelves are getting. So I only walked out with three. Um, Elizabeth Berg, Say When. Um, I actually have been collecting Elizabeth Berg. I probably have about four of her books now and I have yet to read one. So I definitely am excited about this one. Um, if you've read Elizabeth Burke, send, put in the comments which one you should read first. I mean, I only have four of them, but I'm intrigued by which one I should read first. If I should go grab another one and start it first. But anyways, let me know. And then Queen Takes King um, by Gigi Levin G. Grazer. This is the um, same author who wrote The Starter Wife, um, and I loved The Starter Wife, and um, it's really good check Liddy. So, um, Queen Takes King, so I'm excited about this one. And then, uh, this one, so I have a small wish list on Goodreads because I don't need to be wishing for a ton of books, but I have a small list on there, and they're just my top ones that I'm interested in getting and um so this one was on there and I picked it up and I had no idea that it was on there and um so Everything Must Go by Elizabeth Flock. I picked it up at Goodwill, read the back of it, it sounded really good. So it's about a car accident, happy family, devastating car accident, 17 year old Henry is blamed for the tragedy. So I mean it sounds really good. I know why I put it on my wish list but I had no idea when I bought it so that was kind of exciting. So then these are the three, I forgot three more from my swap sites this week. Um, and these were two of the three that I got earlier in the week that I thought was going to be all I had, which was fine. I was totally okay with. So I got The Ghost at the Table. I am doing a challenge on Goodreads. And one of them I needed to read a book for th um, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. So this one is um, my Thanksgiving read, so I'm excited about reading that. So I think I might read it really, really soon since Thanksgiving's like right around the corner. And then I got my Christmas read, so the Christmas Cookie Club. Um, I'm excited about reading this one. It sounds really cute, and it works for my challenge. So I may read that one really quick too, like right after Thanksgiving, um, to start getting into the spirit of things. And then Missing You by Louise Douglas. Um, this one just looked really good and I thought it, I grabbed it off of my um, swap up sites this week. So that is all that I received, which was a great stack, um, especially starting out the week thinking that it was going to be nice and quiet. So I'm excited to share what I got in my mailbox. Let me know what you got in yours and um, see you later.